All right there everyone, welcome to a completely new original idea I've just had, um, episode one, Tramp Cider Review, where I'll review some of the uh, the UK's finest selection of white ciders, also known as Tramp Juice, and uh, I thought I'd kick, one, kick it off with a classic here, Frosty Jacks. And uh, yeah, okay. I've got I've got the can. You can get this in bottles and various sizes. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know why the can the can seemed easier to manage. It's the old seven point five percent, which is pretty standard, good and strong. And um, yeah, if people aren't familiar with these uh, white ciders, they're kind of seen as a Oh, I don't know what to call them. A very, a very cheap and nasty drink. I don't know if that's true of all of them. I think there's some nice ones out there, and maybe this one will be nice. I haven't had Frosty Jacks for ages, but you know, they're kind of seen as like, um, as far as cider goes, the sort of bottom of the bottom of the barrel of ciders. You know, they they don't really have much actual apple content in there, and they're just sort of. Uh, oh, see that light flashing? What's that? UFO. Anyway, um, yeah, um, you know, they're, they're not seen as all that good quality and just sort of the high percentage to get you drunk. And, uh, yeah, the smell is not too great. It's mostly like, it's, it's, it's kind of like almost like a sulfur type of smell. It's like a very sort of acidic sort of tang and it, it's it's like the smell of preservatives or something it's like a very chemical smell that comes off them almost like a battery or something not not like a nice apple cider um a refreshing apple cider best served frosty over ice i haven't got ice i'm gonna nick it from the can i'm gonna pour a bit out just to see the color of it um Cider, sugar, sweetener, contains sulfites, and uh, that's pretty much all the information you get. And um, yeah, I am joking about it being a completely original idea. I started Tramp Cider Review, it must be over 10 years ago, because I started doing these videos when I lived back in Manchester, and I did Tramp Cider Review when I kind of first started doing drinking videos. And um, they've changed a lot since then, I think, with the cans and things. I think the price of them, because they've been a high percentage alcohol, have been taxed into oblivion these days. We used to be able to get it cheap back then. Pour a bit, little bit out just to get a, an idea of the sort of colour. Very, very nice, crisp looking cider, isn't it? I, people knock them, but you know, it's it's nice. It's quite refined. It doesn't look there's no, there's no bits floating in it. It looks nice, nicely carbonated. Looks looks a nice, clear colour. You know, looks looks okay. But yeah, back then, um, I would pound down a bottle of it for the video, and that's that's beyond me now. But like I say, it was it was at least nine years ago. I think it was probably more like ten years ago. I, I, I can't really remember exactly, but ten or eleven. And then um, those videos are gone now. Anyway, that channel got deleted for some unknown reason, just out of nowhere, just boom, gone one day. So um yeah, let's give it a try. So I'm not waffling on. Hmm. Well, it, you know what? It it didn't taste too bad at first. You know what it is with these with these ciders. I think it's the aftertaste. It's the feeling you get in your throat. It's it's like acid reflux. It's like it's like drinking acid acid reflux. It's like a or like um like a battery sort of feeling. It's very chemically as it sort of goes down the throat. But actually, as it as it sort of danced over my tongue there, it was it was quite refreshing, clean, nice, sweet, appley taste. It wasn't too bad. It was it was it was as it dissolved, you know, as it as it as it faded away. Suddenly, the the battery acid tang. The uh, the acid reflux indigestion sensation suddenly crept in, but it, it was all right for the first bit. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah. There's there, there that certain there's a very sort of unappetizing um kind of flavour in there, which I feel will build up. Um, maybe if you sipped it gently, you would get a you would just get like a nice sweet taste, but it's you know it's kind of I think I feel like these drinks are designed to be pounded back as quick as possible you just get them down really um, so I think what will happen is the faster you drink it the more that sort of battery acid sort of sensation will build up mm. yeah ah. yeah it, the initial hit is quite tasty you think oh that's not too bad actually it's quite sweet, but if you slurp it on it like I was, um, it does, it builds up, the, the negative sensation builds up and it kind of becomes a kind of, um, I don't I don't really know how to describe it, it's just a very sort of chemically sort of taste, but um, I think there, there is nice sort of apple flavours in there, you know, it's not, it's not completely awful, it's just, I guess it depends on how you drink it. And, Yeah, mm. it's it's the it yeah it it's like it it's nice and then it turns horrible uh, to me in the like in the aftertaste. I'm trying to put my finger on what that that horrible flavor is because you know initially it's just like I've had like posh ciders that taste like that. It's 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 you know and it's not bad. It tastes quite clean. Um, it doesn't taste like. You know when you get a nice robust sort of cider and it tastes you know, like a scrumpy type of thing and you can taste like the you know it just tastes of like apples <laughs> it tastes like rotten apples in a nice way it's like it's not like that it's like a very clean sort of you know like a cheap cheap refined sort of strongbow type of thing but um it would be completely fine if it was that it's it's the flavor that it turns into Excuse me. Oh. And it hits your stomach. It hits your stomach hard, this stuff. Could be just because I, I, I did eat a bowl of cereal before this, so it's probably not, it's probably not mixing quite well. But, um, uh, actually, that that last bit didn't taste too bad. I think I think maybe it kind of numbs your taste buds a little bit after a while. So it tastes it tastes starting to taste okay actually. I was definitely getting very strong chemically sort of sulfury sulfur. Is it sulfites? Is that the flavour I'm getting? Some kind of very sort of acidy flavours right at the beginning. But I think the more I'm drinking it, the more it's kind of growing on me a bit now. Oh, well, that's hard going, but I'm gonna say actually, the more I'm drinking it, I'm, I'm, I'm actually finding it not too bad. It's the aftertaste. The aftertaste is quite like it. It's like it loses that sweetness almost instantly after you swallow it, and it it just turns into like a very sort of nondescript flavor. But it's it's got a sort of very chemically sort of feel to it, like an unnatural sensation. That's, I think that's the, the the thing with it. It's like it's nice as it's going down, but as soon as you finish, it's like hmm, you suddenly get a sensation. Oh, I don't know if I should have done that, really. Yeah. yeah. But we could also be just because it's quite 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 high alcohol flavor. It's you know quite al quite high alcohol. It's it's growing on me just because the effects, you know. In the same way, an ugly person gets more attractive. Um, 
the more you drink, apparently. That's like a trope, isn't it, in TV shows and things. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's hit my stomach hard. Oh. But it's... Taste-wise, it tasted horrible at the beginning. The more I'm drinking it, it's actually, yeah... Uh, it's, getting, it's getting better. It's getting sweeter towards the end, which is unusual. Usually these things get worse the more you drink them. And I expected that chemical taste to build up to a point where it became unbearable, but it's actually, uh, it's growing on me a bit now. Yeah, I'd probably have another one of them and I'd be happy. Yeah. <coughs> All right, end of the can. Let's uh, finish it off. That was fine, actually. As I got 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 past about this point, got got below the word frosty, and it tasted okay. First bit, honestly, just tasted so much like, like I say, it just reminded me so much of acid reflux, and it just had this real horrible chemical aftertaste. But from there onwards, maybe my taste buds got a bit numbed to it, and you know, started to get a little bit alcohol effect so I started to enjoy it more and you know by, by about here it was it was just quite a nice little side of that yeah I'd say Frosty Jacks as far as what these white ciders go is probably one of the better ones I think it's quite well regarded and um, yeah I gotta, I gotta say it wasn't that bad I would have another one of them um, just you gotta get you gotta get past the first few little bits but after that pretty pretty good actually yeah all right, uh, so I'll do another one of these white cider, tramp cider reviews. Um, <coughs> oh God! All right, hope you enjoyed that one. First episode, tramp cider review number one. All right, bye.